every tent, every little sanctuary, every little little home will have its own identity. And in the end, they all get a name. They all are a living being. Good morning friends, welcome back on the land. Yesterday I shared with you the incredible progress that took place over the past three and a half weeks. Like, look at that. I put the coconut, coconut coil locks, coconut fiber, in order to stabilize the earth everywhere. There was a little living fence planted. The bathroom is getting assembled. David is installing the electricity, it's incredible. What my task will be for today, I want to share with you a special one. What is really important for us is that every tent, every little sanctuary, every little, little home will have its own identity. Of course, we put eight platforms throughout the whole land and on these eight platforms on every platform there will be one t tent installed and at the same time they all carry their unique spirit they are all in their unique position and we positioned them like really carefully it was a long process go back <laughs> a couple of videos and you can see our process how we figured out the exact positions for each one of the of the tents and this is very important for us to nurture the unique spirit they all have given their individual positions one of them have a super nice view all over the island like this one some of them have a mountain view some of them are more like like tucked in in the jungle I will walk each and every platform and I will connect today with the unique spirit they have and in the end they all get a name they all are a living being they all are its their own entities hmm so today we're gonna birth this unique entity. <laughs> Looking forward to this to this process, I can tell you. Let's start here where we are. Currently, this is platform one. But this cannot cannot be just platform one. Let's find out what it wants to be instead. I got a clear feeling on oh, this one. This is not about the view, although the view all over the island is nice. This is the center. This is the tent that is the closest to the entrance, close to the bathroom, close to this one, close to this one close to where people arrive. This Ibu. Ibu Ibu. Very clear. Ibu Ibu. Ibu is the mama in Bahasa Indonesia. This is Ibu. The center. The center close to everything and everyone. This is the mama. gone number two what 
food. This is number two. One to be. I don't have a clear feeling on this one, so let's continue and come back later. Okay, <laughs> now we're at number three, the one where there's already a tent in which I already slept for three days, so this is clear. I already know this. Yeah, don't need any time for that, of course. This is Nanka. <laughs> Nanka is <laughs> this beauty. Black fruit. Mm. The biggest fruit there is on the planet. The king of the fruit. A full mature jackfruit can can nourish. 10 people for breakfast, maybe even more, depending on the size. And this is, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful jackfruit tree, protecting number three. There are already some pretty nice ones. Okay, this is clear. We can move on. We can move on. I love this process. I love this process. This feels like the the sequel to our process that we already did when there were no platforms. Now con reconnecting with the unique spirit of each position given that there now is a platform and that there soon in a couple of days will be a tent. And reconnecting with the unique spirit, with the unique identity. By the way. Look at that. This kennel is where we're going to put all the electricity, all the cables we we'll put there. Alright, let's continue. Number four. What do you want to be? This is the the platform from which you have the nicest the nicest tree view. There's another jackfruit right in the front. There's the bamboo to the left. There's the bamboo to the right. There's the bamboo in the back. This is like look. It was really steep here and feels like living in a tree. Number four. Mm. There's another tree. There are trees all around it. Alright, this was a longer process. Only the name. The spirit was very clear from the beginning. This one, number number uh, five, something to do with creativity. Interestingly, what just happened is uh, David and I were there, and before I was in my all the other tens, uh, ten platforms, I was in my process, and he was in his process, and we were not talking. And this uh, was the platform where. We talked about many different things, how can we do it with this and with the lighting and so on. And this is not the first time that this happens somehow. Every time we are there, yesterday with John with the sauna as well, this was like 
this was the <laughs> the place that sparked a lot of creativity a lot of like like uh, yeah creative spirit so this one will be called news it's fully surrounded by bamboo it's the platform that is where there's the most bamboo surrounding and bamboo is our muse for building almost everything is built out of bamboo probably that's why there's so much creative spirit flowing there all right now we're at number seven already number seven wow Beautiful process. This is clear too. This is clear too. Almost. The exact wording is not clear yet, but the spirit is there. This is the one where you, where you have the nice view in the jungle, and then after that, in the island when there is no, and there are no clouds, and into the other direction you have the mountain view. Over there, you have the mountain view. So this one has something to do with vision. Vision or maybe vista. I like vista too. Which both describes the scenic view and at the same time the capacity to see possibilities that are not there yet. And the position is very aligned with this spirit too because this this is the one that's a little bit secluded. This is next to the border. Here's already the border. This is looking to the to the land that is not the Custodia land yet. And this really <sighs> this one is, is connected to the possibilities that are not realized yet. This is looking to the to the outside, to the border, to the land that is surrounding Custodia and that maybe one time in the future will be the Custodia land too. So this one is not looking inwards, it's looking outwards. Hmm. Vista. Vista of vision. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go to the next one. The next one, the number Six is not finished yet. And this is still getting built. Probably you need to have a little bit of patience to connect with the identity of this one. There's a certain part inside myself that says I want to finish this process. I want to connect with each and every one and I want to have the names ready and at the same time I sense that not yet. Not yet. And probably the same is true for number eight. Eight is the lowest one. That is the closest to the river. It's not finished. Yes, this one isn't fully there yet. Birthing process takes longer than expected. <laughs> so, where are we? We have five names. We have two not yet finished platforms and we have one where there is no clear impulse coming from inside. So this is the invitation for you guys. If you want to contribute to Custodia, if this project is something that is close to your heart and you are following our journey and you want to contribute to that, we are looking for sponsors for platform number two. This is the one where there's no clear name popping, popping up. 
And if you support us in like making this happen, especially making platform and tent and interior number two happen, if you contribute financially, we will co-create the name with you. And the same is true for our sauna. <laughs> our sauna is getting built down there. This will be the building closest to the river. John is currently doing the design. I think I can show you more in the upcoming days. The sauna has no name yet either. So for platform number two and for our sauna, we're looking for somebody who feels the urge to contribute. And to from wherever you are in the world, be a part of this project. We created a little deck with further information about Custodia, about the vision and everything. And in the end you find information about how to how to support this project, how to get involved. I'll link it to you here. Let's do that together. Friends, nice. I just picked up, look at that, a sample for our Custodia yoga mats. And this is a substantial one. This is a cork and um, rubber. So fully biodegradable at the end of the lifespan. Super nice, it's a heavy one, it's a, wow, really nice quality. We will get it branded, of course, but I just wanted to check the quality. One more thing to add to today's process. Um, apparently I said that to David and I didn't record it on camera. Um, through connecting with all the different tent platforms on a deeper level and to sense into the unique identity, made it very clear to me what kind of person needs to be in which position. And I sense that this is so crucial. The same group, like mixed in a different way, can result in a fully different experience. We will put each and every person who will visit us here at Custodia or who in the future will live with us here at Custodia in a very like hand-selected hand way. This feels so important. Yeah, the spirit of the place needs to be in alignment with the spirit of the person that's stewarding, that's, yeah, the temporary custodian of this space. So yeah, beautiful journey today. Thank you so much for following along. See you guys tomorrow with more major developments on the land. Bye-bye.